Hi there, it's Jessica. Welcome to my channel and today's plan with me. I'm going to be using the brand new Erin Condren Life Planner for 2017-2018. So I'm kind of excited about a brand new planner. I'm also really nervous because this planner this year has had a lot of changes made to it. So this video may be a little bit of trial and error. I just removed this really awesome Planny pouch. It's also by Erin Condren. She just released it this year as well. And I'm just putting in some planner essentials that I'll probably reach for, uh, like some scissors, my handy dandy tweezers for smaller scissors, white out, pin, um, card to cut washi, and some other little goodies. So that's kind of convenient. And I love it because it does wrap around your planner. And then there's also an additional little slot in the back there. So anyways, I have that off to the side. And I have done absolutely nothing to this planner. It is bare. It is fresh. And I did pick up the vertical neutral. Painted petals is the theme. And I'm going to start with the very first thing you come to, which is the notes pages and the monthly view. So let me remove my marker here. So I, I'm excited, but I'm nervous guys, because this has changed a lot from what I have been used to using all last year. They have basically removed all of our guidelines on the monthly view to help us place down stickers. And then over here in the notes page, I loved using this kind of freely and creatively both sides. Um, print out pictures and set up little sections to journal and you know, set up goals and memories. Uh, this is now structured, so I need to work with what she's given me. And I can't even quite use this tab page the same anymore because we have this painted petal design and it goes all the way through the coil so I will not be able to cover up that design and color anymore but I am excited to see where this new planner will take me and I have two great kits to start me off on so in the little pouch that comes in the back of the planner. I like to put the stickers I'm going to be working with in there. And I have two kits by the same shop, so they match. And they're really cute. They're by Hello Petite Paper. She does all her own artwork. So gorgeous. This is the July monthly view kit here. It has three pages. And I did get it in the mat here, so if I need to do adjusting, it will be a lot easier. And then I also have a matching notes page kit. So that came with a little deco sheet and two sheets here to kind of set that up. So that's what I'm going to do today. I also brought out this little sticker sheet for the monthly view, which is where I'm going to start first because I think I'm going to be focusing on how to place down these stickers. And I will reference my traveler's notebook in pocket size, which is my everyday carry. It goes in my handbag. I use any plan printables and jot down kind of just the important things. And I think that's probably all I'm going to put down. So to fill up some space, if this isn't taking me too long. I'll put some fun, wacky holidays down because they're really cute and I always enjoy looking at them. Thanks to Andrea from Scribble Prints Co. She put out a mock plan with me for the monthly view, I don't know, about a month ago. She got her planners early and she got a bunch of them. So she kind of played with the layout here and kind of showed how you could still use monthly stickers. So I'm gonna kind of follow her lead um, in how to use the stickers in the monthly view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with these bars that will cover up the days that don't apply to July. And luckily, there are quite a bit, so I'll have a good guideline, actually. We have these dotted lines here, and that's what I could use to place these stickers down. So I'm just going to try my best to start at the very first dotted line over here and rest the sticker along it. 
straight as possible all the way to the end and you know what I might just want to grab a bit of the planner to kind of even it out a little bit more because this is so fresh it's always so fun to start a new planner and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side I'm just gonna start with the very first dotted line and that way what I could do is stack the stickers on top of each other and get those top bars down now we actually have this flag that goes all the way up to the top and even though this kit actually has some colors that match it I don't know that I want it to pop out because I don't know where it's gonna land so I think I will grab my planty pouch and get out the white out Okay, and I'm just going to try to white out a little bit of this flag here at the top. Just in case so I don't have that blue poking through. And you know what I just noticed too? Since the paper has changed and this is now more of a creamy colored paper, I wonder what will happen if you place down some stickers that have kind of white backgrounds, you know, like icons and stuff like that. I wonder if they'll stand out anymore. I'm going to go ahead and take these bars, the days of the week, and use the sticker I already placed down as my guide now. And use that to rest right on top. And there we go. And I'll repeat that on this side, which this is going to be a little bit more tricky because I won't have it as easy um, as I did over there. I'll have a little bit of free floating. So I'll just have to do my best. Okay. Hopefully I did all right there. So far, pretty good for a first time, you know? <laughs> I am a little bit nervous about the sidebar stickers. In this kit, we actually have a lot of boxes and a lot of headers to stack up. And it's not, you know, it's not boxed in, so... I'm going to do my best here, and I may speed up through this as I kind of pick and choose my titles. I'm just going to bring it up close so you could kind of see the options I'm going to be working with here. I like that I could, you know, pick a lot, but I am going to have to figure out how to stack it up. Let me go ahead and just start with monthly to-dos, and I don't know if I could match up the whole way down but I will start at least with a pink box pink header and hmm I guess the best thing I could think to do is take this header and put it where this top bar ends as my guide and maybe kinda try to press it up against against it and then just keep doing that and maybe even upside down would be better keep doing that yeah I'll use the header now as my guide we'll see how straight I can keep it all the way down I'm just gonna continue that real quick and I'll be right back alright so I got my sidebar down and that was pretty easy by just stacking them with one another so I'm going to continue now. I think I got the main pieces down. Let's see. So I think I'll start kind of pre-planning just a little bit of my month out. Well, let me go ahead and attempt to put down one of these full boxes. Maybe I'll take the patterned one. I would like to put it on 4th of July. 
So I would like to see what that is like. Okay, not too bad because that was a square that had the dotted lines all the way around it. Um, and then we do have Happy Fourth of July and I just want to go ahead and put that in the bottom to mark that holiday here in the United States. It's one of my, uh, or it, it may be my husband's favorite holiday. I'm gonna mark paydays with these really adorable pink and gold glitter flags. We get a payday on the first, then every other Friday. And this month, the Friday it starts will be the 14th, so then the 28th will be the other one. And there's really only two dates that I want to mark down. One will be for the 8th. We have a birthday party to attend for my son. And I am like best friends with his mother. Let's use a blue because he's a boy. I think he would like the blue color. And, oh, you know what? That's interesting. The label, a little bit short. So I'm going to give it a little bit of spare room and to center it. There we go. And then I saw these really cute balloons included. So why not just go ahead and use them to mark the birthday on that Saturday. And then the last thing that I'm going to do for pre-planning is I would like to move on to the notes pages. Oh, I have my wacky holidays too. We'll, we'll do some of those. Um, I want to do my doctor's appointments just to go in to pick up a refill, prescription refill. So I'll take pink for me. And then we do have a circular icon of a doctor stethoscope symbol, and that is the 19th. So that'll be over here. And that's all I'm going to do for now, guys. Just paydays and my one appointment birthday party and I think I will fill the rest in on my own I just really wanted to see how it was to place down um, stickers in this new layout but uh, yeah, it was not so bad it was a little scary but it's really pretty and uh, once I think you get the hang of it I think what would be really hard is if there were no days here, you know, because look how much guide I actually got. I got this whole area to use to place my top bars on. I was thinking to myself, if all else fails, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take some cute washi and stick it down. <laughs> Cut like a cute little flag and place some washi down and that's going to be it. Um... Because I was really nervous, but I like the way that it turned out, so it's really cute. Let me place a few wacky holidays down by uh, Once More With Love. I think I'm just going to pick a few random favorites, but they're all kind of fun, though. So that's really hard. I don't know. We have on the second UFO Day. Why not? I'll put that one down on the second. And... What else shall I do? Let's do, oh, Kissing Day on the 6th. Oh my gosh, I can't forget Chocolate Day for the 7th. Definitely put that one in. Um, oh, Sugar Cookie Day, how fun. Sometimes if they're ones that I can participate in, I will try. So maybe I'll make some sugar cookies here on the 9th. Um, I love this one. Teddy Bear Picnic Day. Oh, that might be a fun summer activity, too, with my son. Go to the park, you know? So I'm going to put that down for the 10th. And what else shall we do? French Friday. Love some French fries. And that doesn't land on a Friday, though. That's a Thursday. French Friday is on the 13th. And let's do <laughs> Cow Appreciation Day. Oh, So, chicken, not beef, right? For the 15th. 
and maybe just a couple more. Oh, I can't forget. Disney Day. That's fun. Disney Day is on the 17th. Or Disneyland Day. Oh, if only. I bet you it's going to be packed there. I wonder if they do anything special. Um, I want to do <laughs> Stick Your Tongue Out Day. How can I not? That's the day I am going to my doctor's appointment. Uh, he might prescribe me the wrong medication if I stick my tongue out at him, though, huh? <laughs> junk food day on the 21st. Love the junk food. And just a couple more. Let's see, let's see. Oh, there's an uncle, um, an aunt and uncle day. That's kind of neat. That's the 26th. Let's do milk chocolate day on the 28th. I have to put lipstick day down because I love makeup. And that's the 29th. And last but not least, I just saw this one. Friendship Day. And that's on the 30th. Okay, so that's my wacky holidays. That's my monthly view spread. I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the notes page. And since I'm not going to be working with this side, I'm just going to go ahead and flip it in half there. Let me grab out the kit. I love that this kit matches by Hello Petite Paper. So we have the two pages. Let's see how we should use it here. Looks like we have a decorative strip right here, which I would probably, let's see, I'd probably like to use up at the top to cover up these painted petals. If you could see them, they're really lightly sketched in, and then the flag also comes all the way up to the top. So it might be a little bit tricky. I'm not used to actually placing stickers like right along the edge of a piece of paper, but I will give it a try. Let's see here. If I could get this down straight. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. All right, and then what else do we have? We have this. Is this a sticker? It says July. I think I'll put that. Well, maybe I'll just kind of center that in up at the top. That's cute. All right, so then the circles, I think I'm just going to really honestly just follow the way she has it laid out. That's really easy, and they're so pretty. Now, I am honestly, if you watch any of my Play With Me's, you know I'm not good with circles. I actually use tweezers. Every time I have a circular icon, um, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe these ones are bigger. I'll do a little better. This one here says goals. I just want to make sure that I, you know, get this down properly. Cover it up and get it straight. We have a favorites, focus, and grateful. Okay, I did the best I could do with the circles there, so I'm going to go ahead and move on down. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and... We have these really cool strips that remind me of kind of like bullet journaling in a way, or a really long habit tracker. Yeah, it's like a, a whole monthly tracker. That's cool. So I could do two things that I want to make sure I'm doing every day and track them. So I think we'll put that like in this big box. And what's we'll take this notes. And those two bars. And I'll just stack them on top of each other just as it's shown. I'm going to put this in the corner notes and then stack these up
Okay, and then the next thing I think I want to do is we're totally done with this page, is get up this one. And I guess you could choose all these headers to set up these two columns. And then you have these little dots you could place down as the bullet points. And I'm sure you could even use more than one if you want to. So I might pick here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to get the tweezers to help me place down the dots. I think I'll match them too. I would like to use... Let's see. I actually really like the one that says, I'm so grateful as well as the one right below it, monthly favorites. That was actually one that I always enjoyed doing, was writing down like if I had a favorite show on TV that month or a favorite product I was using. Also wish list um, and I think I'll do memories as well. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna do those four and let's see, this will obviously Hopefully, just cover right over the header shown. So I guess I'm taking the four at the bottom. And I'm going to try my best to space them out evenly, and then I'll go ahead and give them the little bullet points per line. Okay, so here is the basic layout, and last but not least, we have this little cute deco, which I will go ahead and take a couple pieces from. So pretty. Let's see, maybe a little bow or two. Love the bows. And the notes. Let's see, I like the blue ones. Right there. And then we have a little anchor. I thought that might be fun to put up next to by July. And I think I'll save the rest of the pieces. And that will be my finished notes page layout really cute. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and link this shop Hello Petite Paper down below. And I love that they match. And I hope this was helpful for you guys who will be entering in your new Erin Condren Life Planner for 2017 and 18 to give you an idea if you're in the neutral how to kind of you know get some ideas and set this stuff up I hope you had fun planning with me if so definitely hit that subscribe button so that I could see you again soon and until then I want to wish you a beautiful day and happy planning bye friends